Hello, third graders. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Mr. Anderson. I am the principal here at Central School. For those who do know me, I'm still Mr. Anderson, and I am still the principal here at Central School. I know that uh, making that transition from third grade to fourth grade can be a little t intimidating, but I'm really hoping this video uh, helps with some of those fears as it's not a big deal. All right, third graders, so this is the main entrance at Central School. I had to prop the door open because uh, with the school being closed, I am one of the only people in the building. But when you do come in the building, you will come to the first floor, which is the floor where you guys will have class about 90% of the time. This whole hallway is our fourth grade hallway where you will have your classes with one of six classroom teachers. As you can see, uh, it's a little messy right now because we're working on our packets to make sure everybody's learning continues through this uh, unprecedented time. Uh, this is the main office. These two ladies who are gone right now are basically the ones who run the school. And you can come here anytime and they will answer any question that you have. But again, this whole room, this whole, excuse me, this whole hallway is mostly fourth grade where you will spend a majority of your day. All right, third graders, this is one of our three gyms. Uh, you do have PE here at Central School on Tuesdays and Thursdays for about 45 minutes. And one week you will be in this gym and then the other week you will be in the steamer gym. Now I'm gonna show you probably the most confusing part of this school. This right here is called the tunnel. I don't know why they've called it the tunnel or why it's been called the tunnel. I've been here for 13 years and still do not have an answer on why it's called the tunnel. But this will take you from your classroom down to the cafeteria. Now don't worry about remembering where you need to go because your teacher, anytime you need to go travel to somewhere like music or computers or the cafeteria, um, the teachers will escort you to the location um, to, and back. So don't worry about remembering where you need to go. So at the end of the tunnel, you can continue that way, which we'll go in a second to the other gyms, or head down the stairs to the cafeteria. Now, if you come in at breakfast time and your teacher doesn't escort you, when you come in in the morning or during lunch, you will come in here. The first thing you do is you will turn right and you will follow the tables along the side of the wall in line all the way to where their food is. Now we are set up for summer right now um, with the remote distancing that we do not have tables set up but when you come in you will grab your milk grab your tray grab the food you need making sure to say please and thank you and then you will go ahead and type your number in and miss Moore, who sits there will make sure that everything goes the way you should the way it should so if you're coming up the stairs from the cafeteria and you turn right you, that'll take you to our two other gyms that we have here at Central School. Uh, one gym is actually used for cheerleading and wrestling. Um, you will not have any classes in here, but you can start wrestling in fifth grade. So that's something to look forward to. And our other gym that you will actually have PE in every other week, is called the Steamer Gym. And you will go through the foyer. Again, your teachers will take you where you need to be. So don't worry. Into the steamer. All right, this is the steamer gym. Some of you have seen this before. Some of you ha have not. But again, you will get a chance to have pee in here on Tuesdays and Thursdays every other week. All right, third graders, future fourth graders. This is our library. You will be in here at least once a week for library time. And if you finish books, you can come exchange them at any time when the teacher allows it. All right, let's first talk about all the things that are kind of similar between Irving School and Central School. First of all, we have all the subjects that you guys did, math, science, social studies, language arts, PE, recess, choir. Uh, we do have a computer class here. Uh, we also have a, a SEL class, our social emotional learning class, and library time. We have the three R's like you do. Our three R's are a little bit different. We have respect yourself and others, respect property, and being responsible. 
Uh, for those students that are following those expectations, there are steamer tickets that we give out. And the steamer cart comes around for each grade, for each class, about once every uh, three weeks on Fridays. Okay, now let's talk about some of the activities that we have here at Central, uh, Central School. First of all, we have our K-Kids, which is a service organization. Uh, helps out at the school or in our community. We also have for our girls and boys, we have basketball. For the girls, we will have volleyball. Um, football doesn't start for our students until they get to fifth grade, um, along with band and wrestling. But again, those are things you can look forward to start in fifth grade. We do have choir. Our choir is a little bit different. It is by choice. If you want to be in choir, you do have to sign up for it and you practice at least once a week and have at least two programs, one around the Christmas uh, winter break time and uh, one towards the end of the year. Um, and we may have more just depending on uh, the music That's teacher. That's the, uh, the quick tour of Central School. Uh, I know that there'll probably uh, be a lot of questions. Um, the only thing that you need to know right now is that when you show up to school in August and you're sitting in that classroom, all we ask of you is to do your best. Your best at your academics, your best at your behavior, uh, your manners and how you represent yourself and your parents. Um, again, I know there will be a, a ton of questions and we hopefully will have an open house in August that we can answer a lot of those questions for you. Otherwise, you can um, always email me at janderson at kcud229.org. Any question, um, maybe except for the ones do I know, if you have a family member that attends Central School, I guarantee that I know them, so don't worry about those questions. I know we get a lot of those during the regular tour. Again, looking forward to um, meeting every single one of you uh, next August. Uh, I expect great things, uh, and if, again, if you have any questions, please contact me. Thanks. Hi, incoming fourth graders. My name's Mrs. Philhauer. I just wanted to let you know that I am so excited to meet all of you in the fall. I'm excited to see who's going to be in my class. And I just wanted to let you know that don't worry about the transition from Irving to Central. It's definitely not as scary and intimidating as it seems. We will get through everything together as a classroom family. You guys will be masters of the building and know where everything is by the end of the first week. You will feel so much more comfortable. Um, I'm so excited to learn with you, to grow with you, to make memories and have so much fun. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your year for third grade with remote learning. And I hope that we can all get back into the classroom in the fall. Bye. Good morning, fourth graders, and welcome to Central School. My name is Mrs. Vickery, and I'm one of the fourth grade teachers. This fall, I will start my 27th year of teaching. In those 27 years, I have taught sixth grade, seventh grade, and fourth grade. Fourth grade is my favorite. I love to read, especially the Harry Potter books. My favorite part of the school day is when I get to read aloud a novel to my students. I have some favorites that I read aloud to my classes every year. On a personal note, I have a dog named Bo who is very spoiled that I like to talk about a lot. And I love to hear stories from my students about their pets as well. I am married to my high school sweetheart. This fall, we will celebrate 25 years of marriage. We have two children, Cole who is 22 and Katie who is 20. I also like to talk about them quite a bit. So welcome to Central School. I look forward to meeting you. Hi, soon to be fourth graders. I'm Miss Baptiste and I'm starting my first year at Kiwani Central Junior High just like you are. I'm very excited to meet you all and I can't wait to see you this coming fall. Hi boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Costinson. I'm one of the fourth grade teachers at Central School. I'm really excited about having you come join our Central School family in the fall and I hope you have a really great summer and we'll see you in August. Hello, future fourth graders and parents. I am Miss Spears. This is my first year teaching at Kiwani Central, my first year as a teacher. I graduated from Western Illinois University with my bachelor's in elementary education. I am from Princeville, Illinois, where I live with my dad and my two older sisters. I am very excited to get to meet you guys, and I can't wait to have a fun school year next year. See you guys later. Hi, I'm Ms. Clevenger. Welcome to fourth grade. Hi, fourth graders. My name is Mrs. Carlson, and I will be teaching fourth grade at Central this year. Central is an amazing school, and you will learn so many new and exciting things. I can't wait to meet you.